How do you explain how you solved a subtraction problem? In this lesson, you will learn how to explain subtraction by using place value. Why do we have to explain in math? Sometimes you need to prove to other students and teachers that you are correct. Other times, you're comparing your strategy with other students to learn a new way of thinking about the problem. Finally, you might explain how to solve the problem to someone who doesn't understand. We're going to do that in this lesson. We're going to practice explaining how to solve subtraction problems to this confused math monkey. Many students try to use only words to explain how they solved a problem, when acting it out or drawing it would be more clear. For the problem 16 minus 4 equals 12, we could explain subtracting 4 1's from 6 1's, then keeping the 10, or we could get out blocks that show the 10 stick and 6 1's for 16, then cross off 4 of them or remove them to show there are 12 left, 1 10 and 2 1's. If you wanted to draw the base 10 blocks, you can use a line for the 10 stick and circles for the 1's cubes. We can use words, actions, or pictures to explain our thinking in math. Before second grade lunch, the cafeteria had 57 white milks. They sold 25 white milks. How many white milks are left? They started with 57, which is the same as 50 plus 7, or 5 tens and 7 ones. They sold 25, which is the same as 20 plus 5, or 2 tens and 5 ones. Because the milks were sold, they went away. This is a subtraction situation. 5 tens minus 2 tens is 3 tens, and 7 ones minus 5 ones is 2 ones. There were 32 milks left. Can we explain this problem to the confused math monkey using place value? We could use blocks to act out the situation. They started with 57 milks, which is 5 tens and 7 ones blocks. 25 milks were sold, 2 tens and 5 ones. So we can take away tens from tens. We can take 2 tens away, and we can take away 5 ones. Now there are 3 tens and 2 ones left, so there were 32 milks left. The cafeteria had 51 chocolate milks at the beginning of lunch. They sold 36 chocolate milks. How many chocolate milks are left? Again, we can break the numbers apart. 51 is 50 plus 1, or 5 tens and 1 1. 36 is 30 plus 6, or 3 tens and 6 ones. Some milks are going away, so this is a, also a subtraction problem. 5 tens minus 3 tens is 2 tens. If we look at the ones, we have 1 1 minus 6 ones. But that's a problem. I don't have enough to give 6 ones away. So we take one of the tens and break it up into ones. Now we have 11 ones minus 6 ones is 5 ones. There's 1 10 and 5 ones left, so there are 15 chocolate milks left. Again, we could use blocks to explain the problem to the math monkey. These blocks show 51, 5 tens, and 1 1. We need to subtract 3 tens and 6 ones. I can take away 3 tens. But I only have one one. I don't have enough ones cubes to move six of them over. So I break a group of ten up into tens ones. Now I can take away six ones and see what's left. There's one ten and five ones left, or fifteen chocolate milks. We also could explain the problem to the monkey using a drawing. 51 is 5 tens and 1 1. The lines are 10 sticks and the circles are 1's cubes. But notice that I drew one of the 10 sticks as 10 1's cubes connected together. 
because I'll know I'll have to use some of those ones when I subtract. 36 is 3 tens and 6 ones. We can cross off 3 tens lines and 6 ones circles and see what's left. There's 1 ten and 5 ones left. So there were 15 chocolate milks left at the end of lunch. In this lesson, you learned how to explain subtraction by using place value.